It all starts with designing the coin. Artists sketch out ideas for the front and back of the coin. The design has to be approved by the U.S. Mint and the Secretary of the Treasury before it can move forward. Next up is modeling the design. Once approved, the design is turned into a 3D model, either through advanced software or by hand carving a model in wax or clay. Then we move on to engraving the die. This step involves transferring the design onto a master die, a process that's all about precision. The die holds the reversed image of the coin's design. After engraving, the die is hardened. It's heated and cooled to make it durable so it can handle the pressure of striking thousands of coins. Now it's time for metal preparation. Raw materials like copper, nickel, and zinc are melted down to form large rolls or sheets. These will become the coins. Once the metal's ready, it's rolled into thin sheets. These sheets are carefully flattened to the exact thickness required for the coin. Then, the blanks are cut out. These are the round disks that will eventually become coins. The cutting machines punch them out of the metal sheets. Each blank is carefully inspected for flaws like cracks or irregularities before moving forward. Now, the blanks undergo annealing, a heating process that softens the metal, making it easier to strike. After that, the blanks are washed to remove any dirt or oils. This ensures the coins will have a clean, smooth finish. Next comes the exciting part, striking the coin. The blanks are fed into massive coin presses, where they're struck with the engraved die, imprinting the design onto the metal. After striking, each coin is inspected. Quality control ensures that the design is clear and that there are no defects. Some coins also get edge treatment. For example, they might have reeded edges, those grooves you see on certain coins, to prevent people from tampering with the metal. Some coins even get extra treatment, like coloring or plating. For example, gold or silver can be plated onto certain coins to give them a unique finish. Once they're fully made, the coins are counted and rolled into bundles for distribution Distribution. Then, it's time for a final round of quality control. Every coin is checked to make sure it meets strict standards for size, weight, and design. After passing inspection, the coins are packaged and sent off to Federal Reserve Banks. The coins are then distributed to commercial banks, who send them out to you, the public, ready to be spent. And finally, old, damaged coins are often recycled. They're melted down and reused in the creation of new coins, keeping the cycle going. So there you have it. From design to distribution, U.S. coins go through a fascinating high-tech process. Every coin you use has passed through many hands and machines before it ever reaches your wallet. Thanks for watching. If you found this video interesting, don't forget to like and subscribe for more amazing behind-the-scenes looks at how things are made.